Check out the all new facelift for Instagram. What's up guys, Gizmo here. Today we're gonna to be looking at the all new Instagram. We get a new logo, a brand new cleaner interface. Everything seems a lot simpler, but we're gonna go over some of the features and how to do certain things if you're new to Instagram or if you're not a pro. So we're gonna move across the bottom menu here. We have this little search explore tab here. You could search for your friends, you could search for celebrities, people. All the content in the explore section is unique to you. Showing you content that you may like, content that your followers like, and more. You could search for people, tags, or even places. Now, if you're using an iPhone 6S like I am, we have 3D Touch. Now, you can press on any of the images or video lightly, and you'll get to peek right into the photo. Now, the main menu on the bottom has only changed aesthetically, as it has a much more simpler look. So we're gonna jump in here to the library section where I'm gonna upload a picture. Now you can go through your whole entire camera roll. You could use your camera here on Instagram or you could use the video feature. You could also dig through any of your photo albums on your phone. Now I'm gonna pick a photo here from my Hawaii trip here and I'll show you that it zooms in and out. See these little arrows here? This helps you fit the whole entire image in the shot. It doesn't have to be a square anymore. This isn't a new feature, but it might be new to some of you. Now once I zoom in and scale and crop it exactly how you want it, you can move to the next screen, which is all new. The simple interface gives it a really clean look. Now you can go through your filters and pick any of them, rearrange them, and even hide them. Now on the top of your screen, you'll see this little Lux button. You tap on that little light, and this will really give your image a pop. Um, it's a really simple, quick fix to make your images stand out. So now we're gonna go into our edit section, which is now on the bottom right, and you can see all the menu items have changed, the icons have changed, and the, everything else is basically the same. Now if you made your image a square, you used to not be able to adjust your image in the settings, but now you can. You could rotate your image and mess with any of the perspectives and readjust the zoom. Now some of these features you may never use, but they actually can come in really handy, especially if you take a picture weird and it looks a little warped out. Now you can see the top of my head looks a little stretched. I guess I was too close to the camera and the lens kind of warped me out. Using these features here will help you fix your image perspective so you don't look like a warped out alien. Right here we have my brother and I in Hawaii and he looks a little further back, so I can adjust him and kind of bring him closer to the camera it looks like. So let's jump into another photo and I'll show you a bunch of other settings. Let's jump in here to the color section here and you can give your image a really vintage old look or you can rarely make it look like a fantastical world. Um, let's jump over here to fade and you can see that it gives it a nice vintage old look. Now we have our highlights here, you can see the sky, any of the really bright, bright white sections, you can dim them down, same for the shadows, any of the dark sections, you can kind of bring out the color and image back to it, which I use all the time. Once your photo is done, make sure you tag the location, that helps you get more likes. Type in a caption, add some hashtags, and you're good to go. Now you can share the image with your followers or send it in a direct message. But for today, we're gonna post this to our account. So we're gonna add our social networks, give it one more look, and here we go. Once your photo uploads, it'll be enjoyed by your friends, family, and the rest of the world. All right, moving on. You can see the new interface has a very simple, clean, minimalistic view. Not much has changed on the notifications page. That all pretty much remain the same. Now, if you have multiple Instagram accounts like I do, there are two different ways to access this menu. Tapping on your username on the top or tapping and holding on your image on the bottom right of your device. You could add up to five accounts and keep them all logged in at the same time. Making switching accounts really simple. Now I'm going to show you guys a few different shortcuts for messaging and commenting on Instagram. Simply drag your finger over the comment to the left and you can either delete, report for spam, or reply. The username will instantly appear in the comment. Or you could also tap and hold on their username. Now this little circle with an arrow here, this is a direct message, making it really easy to send content directly to a friend. Instead of tagging them in an image, you could send them the content directly and chat about it. If you want to share a post on Facebook or copy a link, tap those three dots on the top right of the content. You could delete, edit, or share your own content. If you're on someone else's page, you could use that menu to turn on post notifications, which will send you a notification as soon as that user posts content. Not much has changed in the settings page. You could add multiple accounts there, set a private account, and enable your account to save original photos to your camera roll after you post them. 
So that's pretty much for all the changes for Instagram. The interface has gotten a lot cleaner. We now have 60 second videos we're able to upload, which is pretty awesome. The only thing now I really want on Instagram is some really high quality video. So that's all for our tips and tricks today. I've got a lot more different Instagram tips and tricks videos on my channel, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and maybe you'll learn something. If you guys like my nature pictures, make sure you follow my account and my personal account and leave me a comment. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Leave a comment, hit that like button, and don't forget to share. Did you guys click that subscribe button yet? Go ahead, click it. You know you want to.